Hi, I'm Santosh, OpenShift architect with Red Hat. In this video, I'll be showing how to migrate workloads from an OpenShift 3.x cluster to an OpenShift 4.x cluster. To start off, we need to have running OpenShift 3.x and OpenShift 4.x clusters. We then need to install migration toolkit for containers on both the clusters. We then need to set up a replication repository. This replication repository will store the Kubernetes manifest during the migration process. Once that is done, using the web interface of the migration toolkit, we will come up with a migration plan and then can start moving the workloads from an OpenShift 3.x to an OpenShift 4.x cluster. What is the motivation to migrate from OpenShift 3 to OpenShift 4? OpenShift 4 is an entire architectural redesign compared to OpenShift 3. OpenShift 4 has RHEL CoreOS as the underlying immutable operating system. A fundamental difference between OpenShift 3 and OpenShift 4 is that OpenShift 4 uses pieces of software called operators. OpenShift 4 cluster is installed using operators, which are a method of packaging, deploying, and managing a Kubernetes application. OpenShift 4 offers repeatability of installation and upgrade, over-the-air updates for OpenShift components, seamless deployment onto any cloud or on-prem, and auto-scaling of cloud resources. Now let us look at the architecture for migrating the applications from OpenShift 3 to OpenShift 4. Migration toolkit for containers is installed in the source cluster and in the destination OpenShift 4 cluster. During the migration, Velero copies the Kubernetes manifest from the source cluster onto the replication repository. Then the manifests are restored onto the destination OpenShift 4 cluster. Using rsync, the persistent volumes are copied from the source to the destination cluster. Migration Toolkit for Containers is a battle-tested tool for migrating the workload from OpenShift 3.x to OpenShift 4.x. In the recent past, there have been significant improvements. Addition of the direct migration using rsync option is one such improvement. In this video, I'll be using the direct migration using rsync option for migrating the persistent volumes from the OpenShift 3.x to the OpenShift 4.x cluster. I've heard of customers moving nearly 1,000 namespaces in a single go from OpenShift 3.x to OpenShift 4.x. Uh, it is dependent on the amount of data that needs to be migrated. Let's get to the demo. I have an OpenShift 3.11 cluster open here in my Safari browser. I'll go ahead and create a Node.js with Postgres uh, database persistent application. I have a template in it for it. I'll create a project. I'll call it demo. I'll import the template. And I'll save it and process it. I'll let the default option stay as it is. The build is now complete and the application is now accessible. Let us access the route of the application. We have a Node.js application with the Postgres database in the back end. Let's make some changes in here. Let's change the count to random number. And similarly, we'll edit the count of oranges. We have a persistent volume mounted at this particular location. This is a 1 GB persistent volume. Now let's go to the migration toolkit. We'll come up with a migration plan and then migrate this Node.js Postgres application onto the OpenShift 4.x cluster. I have an OpenShift 4.9 cluster running. I have installed migration toolkit for containers on this particular cluster. The instructions for installation of migration toolkit for containers on OCP3 and OCP4.9 are listed here. You, and you have the 
instructions for setting up of the replication repository in here. This is the route for the migration toolkit. You can access it over here. The host cluster, in this case, the OpenShift 4.x cluster is already configured. I'll now need to add the OpenShift 3.x cluster or the source cluster. I'll name it OCP3 cluster. I'll need to gather the OpenShift 3.x cluster URL. This is the this is the URL. I need to gather the service account token for the cluster. This particular step checks the connection and adds the OpenShift 3.x cluster. The connection was successful. And so we now have the OpenShift 3.x cluster and the OpenShift 4.x cluster added to the migration toolkit. I've already added a replication repository. This is basically AWS S3 bucket in my particular case. Again, the instructions are available for configuring a replication repository based on the options available to you. The next step is setting, creating a migration plan. I'll call it migration. I'll select the source cluster. In this case, the OCP3 cluster. I'll select the target cluster. I'll select the replication repository and click on next i have the option of migrating a lot of namespaces in a single go for this particular demo i'll migrate the demo namespace which has the postgres node.js application so i click on next this was of the cluster fs storage class so we'll hit next on the target cluster, it'll be an AWS EVS storage class. We'll hit, we'll let the default option stay as it is. Hit next. There are a lot of customizations and options available with during a migration plan. You can add custom hooks. You can add Ansible playbooks before the migration or after the migration. Uh, and uh, for this demo, we'll just skip and we'll finish it. In here, uh, there are just warnings, nothing to be concerned of. We'll ignore the warnings. The next step is actually starting the migration. As I mentioned earlier, there are quite a lot of options uh, for migrating. You have stage, cutover, state, rollback, and so on. For this particular demo, I'll pick the cutover option. It, by default, a cutover halts all the transactions on the source cluster, the source OCP3 cluster, before the migration starts. And then it moves the workloads onto the OCP3 uh, 4.x cluster. You see, uh, it has created this particular project just now on the OCP 4.x cluster. Your 3.x cluster, the entire namespace is in the process of migration. We see that the Node.js Postgres pods are coming up. We can access the Node.js application using the route. And we see that the data that was there in the OCP3.x cluster is retained. Yeah, that was a quick demo to show how we can migrate the workloads from OpenShift3.x to OpenShift4.x cluster. Feel free to check out some of the other demos that our team has created. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at this particular email. Thank you for watching.